coming up to me and telling me how much you enjoy this program when you see me out. I'm so glad that you come up and say hello. I really enjoy that. They plan to be with us Saturday night, December the 3rd. We're going to be in Huntington, West Virginia in Altizer. That's in the east end of Huntington. Going to be at the Harvest Time Tabernacle. Come to Russell Creek Bridge, go straight. Come to the intersection, there'll be a roller skate, roller skating place. Go right past that. Go to the end of that road. You'll find on the left-hand side is the old Kerr glass plant. Well, you make a left there. You go clear to the end of that road. Make another left, and you just go a little pinch there, and right on the right-hand side sits the church. So we're ma just make plans to be with us. We're looking forward to a great outpouring of the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, we're going to have a time in the Lord. So you make plans to be with us. Looking forward to meeting you. Time to go to segment. Let's go. Jesus, and you'll get your exercising in. You can go dance and have a good time. You can get drunk and have a good time. <laughs> no hangover the next day. My Lord, my Lord. You know, the world's missing it. You know, I missed it for many years. <laughs> but I'm having a good time now. I'm making up for it. Glory to God. If somebody would have told me what I was missing... I'd have joined up a long time ago. Because for some reason, I thought I was going to go somewhere, sit on a back pew, and listen to a dead old organ. I don't know what I thought I was getting into. But, buddy, when I got the real thing, uh-huh, the real thing, called the Holy Ghost power, I'm telling you, it'll give you some, it'll energize you. How many gets up of the day and are literally energized by the power? Holy Ghost. Glory to God. You begin to get up and you begin to praise his name. And honey, you're going to be energized. Glory to God. You may feel down and out, but if you'll start praising his holy name, I'm telling you, God's going to come on the scene and you're going to be literally set a fire of the Holy Ghost. I don't know about you, but I'm all of a sudden doing a two-step all over my house. I wake up and the devil says, hey, I got you now. I say, that's what you think. Watch this, devil. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Glory to God. Sure, he'll come along and he'll try to get you down. But I want to tell you, you don't have to stay down. You're only down if you allow the devil to keep you down. The devil has no control over you other than what you allow him. If you begin to pray, Anyhow, honey, you're going to move. You're going to be moved out of the situation that the devil's trying to do to keep you down.
down. Woo! Glory to God. I said glory. Hallelujah. I got up this morning and God began to minister to me about the message. Hallelujah. Called praise us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is looking for some hearts that's going to praise him anyhow. Glory to God. Glory to God. Honey, when they call you and they tell you your mother's just had a heart attack, you better go to the emergency room. Honey, you still better be praising God. I said, okay, just let me get my things on. I'll be right over. I go and I pray for my mama. Oh, and she said, doing fine. She said, honey, you go on and do God's work. I'm in his hands. I know you got to work for God. And I just skipped him a little out there of praising God because he's Jesus in the almighty hand of God tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And Kathy, she comes all the way from Charleston. My God, I'm wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up in Jesus tonight. Woo! She calls me. She said, Sister Pat, my mother died and she went to heaven yesterday. And I'm a coming. I'm a coming to the service. And she's been praising God every step of the way. I tell you, and if you get in the wilderness, you get in that old furnace, you want out, you start praising him. <laughs> Woo! Somebody said, uh, don't you think you better stay home tonight? I said, what for? Hey, what for? I'm going to praise God. i got a work to do. My God, you don't sit down and quit when the devil comes in like a flood, but you get on and you begin to praise God. You say, I'm going to do God's work anyhow. Woo, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I want to tell you something. If you want your prayers answered, you start praising him. The minute you cry out to God, honey, you don't end that prayer without a praise and a thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you do that, you won't have to keep going back and asking. Woo! I said you won't have to keep going back and asking. Hallelujah. How many knows if you're going to receive something, you're going to reach your hand out and you're going to say thank you. When you reach out and say, thank you, honey, you're receiving something. Amen. Amen. It's the same way with God tonight. When you go to him and you've got a need, you reach him little hands down and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Honey, it's called faith. It's called faith. When you begin to reach his hands down and say, thank you, that's faith in action. Glory to God. God's people holler, I'm a faith person. Well, let's see. Honey, you're going to be tested. You're going to be tried. The devil's going to come along and see what Mr. or Mrs. Faith is made about. Oh, yeah. He'll let you holler, I'm a faith person. I'm a word lady. Woo-hoo! And here he comes. He's over there snicking around. Well, let's just see, Mrs. Word. How much of the words in you and how much of that word are you going to stand on because I'm coming in at you lady I'm coming after you lady well let him come honey I got my armor on Woo! and I'm, a go I'm not going over him I'm going through him glory to God I said I'm going through the devil Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Woo! Glory. Hallelujah. To make your prayers the most effective, honey, you just begin to praise him and you watch. You watch what's going to happen. Hallelujah. The power of prayer is increased by self-denial. A lot of people don't want to hear that. But I want to tell you, if you want to walk in power, it's one thing to know the Word. It's another thing to quote the Word. But, honey, there comes something called fasting. You need to put some fasting with your praying, with the Word, and then you can see. 
see what you can do to the devil. Hallelujah. There's things God wants his people to do. In Matthew 17, 21, it says, How about this kind? Go with not out, but by prayer and fasting. How many realize tonight you're going to come up and get some things that just simple prayer was not going to do it? That's why he said prayer and fasting. When you go up against the wall and nothing's happening, I tell you to declare yourself a sanctified fast before God and tear the devil's kingdom down. Make him take his old grubby hands off of you. And I want to tell you, he has to do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 22 says, And all things whatsoever ye shall ask, in prayer and believing, ye shall receive whatsoever, whatsoever. How much more clearer, how much more plainer does the Word of God have to get for you tonight? It declares whatsoever, anything, if you ask and you believe, my God, you're going to receive. Woo, glory to God. Hallelujah. God's power tonight is unlimited, whether you believe it or not. Honey, just because you don't feel like it's unlimited in your life, don't make it not so. Honey, just because some people don't believe in the Holy Ghost, don't make it not so. Glory to God. Just because some people don't see angels don't make it not so. Just because some people don't believe in casting out devils don't make it not so. Glory to God tonight. I declare to you that it is so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's power is unlimited to those that abide in him. I said those that abide in him. I didn't say those that was over here are playing little games on the side. I didn't say that the little bit of hypocritin. I didn't say uh, God didn't say that. He didn't say that you could fool around with the world and still have his power unlimited in your life. He didn't say that. Because my friend, if you're abiding in him, you're all the way. You are a hundred percent for him. You live a hundred percent godly life. I'm here to tell you that it's called holiness. And it has nothing to do with this. Glory to God, and I'm so glad it doesn't. Whoo! There's so many people who don't know what holiness is because they can't get past your earrings. They're missing God. Uh, if you don't want to wear earrings and makeup, fine. But my God, leave those alone that do. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah! Honey, when God set me free, he set me free. Amen. I had hair this high. I had hair this high one time. Well, I did. And dresses, and I still like long dresses. Bunny, I may tell you, it looked like a ghost. <laughs> Beautiful looking, but honey, they told me I was pleasing God. My husband wasn't very pleased. <laughs> I went like that for eight years. And I loved God with all of my heart. And if I thought that's what it took, I'd still do it. But praise God, I know that's not what he's looking for tonight. <laughs> Glory to God, he's looking for a pure snow for him without spot, wrinkle, or blemish, and it has nothing to do with what I look like. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Honey, when he lifted it off of me, when he set me free, it felt like a thousand times lifted off of my shoulders. Oh, it felt so good to come out of that bondage, and that's all it is, is bondage. I couldn't have the joy that God wanted me to have when I was in that stuff. Honey, then I got an old spirit on me 
And when I looked at somebody like that, I was so judgment. Well, you're not going to heaven. Look at you. I couldn't see their heart. I didn't know what they'd been doing for God. I didn't know how long they'd fasted and prayed and sat on their knees before God. But I had a criticizing, judgmental demon spirit hanging all over me. Glory to God, anyhow. Oh, hallelujah. I'm so glad he set me free. I'm so glad he set me free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Honey, whatever God brings you out of bondage, you got something to praise him for. I said you got something to praise him for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He brought me out of it, and all the church doors shut to me. Nobody didn't want, nobody wanted Pat to preach no more. Oh, glory to God. So I just go find me a senior citizen's building. Hey, when God tells you he's called you to do something, he'll give you somebody to preach to. And I'm still doing it. Hallelujah. Well, glory. <laughs> I said glory. Thank you, Father, for your deliverance. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And there's some of them still over fussing and fighting about that, and they're not getting anybody saved, nobody delivered, and nobody healed. Because they're too busy over here carrying on about what the other guy looks like. Amen. Missing God all the way. Well, glory. John 15, 7 says, If you abide in me and my words abide in you,